As more and more drones take to the skies, there is a greater need for a way to police all of them. Yeah, and a Utah-based company is demonstrating its counter drone system right here in Las Vegas this week that is beginning to be used at several places all around the country. Our own Patrick Walker got an up-close and personal look today and is here live to tell us how it works. Well, Brian and Denise, check this out. In the first year plus of unmanned aerial vehicle registrations across the country, more drones were registered than the number of entire manned aircraft in the history of human flight. Now, as our skies become more crowded, companies like Fordham Technologies are developing ways to safely take out rogue drones. If a rogue drone buzzes over somewhere it's not wanted, a Utah-based company has a high-tech twist on an old-school method of making a capture. Fordham Technologies is now deploying Drone Hunter, which uses ground-based radar to locate a threat then its own sensors to pick up the rogue drone, and it prepares to engage the target. If it's told to attack, then it would um, get into a dogfight with it, and then it would shoot the net and, and capture it, and then tether it away to a pre-designated safe zone for forensic analysis. Though they can't specify, Fordham Vice President Bruce Carpenter says his system has been installed at an airport, a stadium, and at a number of Department of Defense installations. We haven't um, had to uh, divert a terrorist threat as of yet, but everybody's concerned about them and we're prepared to uh, create the solution. The system is designed to either have a human make the final decision to make a capture or can operate completely autonomously. It's a decision facilities will have to make more and more frequently as the number of drones in the sky continues to skyrocket and more UAVs encroach unrestricted airspace. Fordham builds it as a safe solution to a growing problem. So the system is in the process of getting its final certifications to operate commercially. Fordham has been testing its systems here in the U.S. and has been testing its radar components in other parts of the world. Back over to you guys. That is